Hi there, my name is Jason Lopez and today we're going to show you how to replace your drive shaft with our new style drive shafts that include the new style lugs. The reason for this change is it eliminates the current wearable bushings, it also improves our track alignment, it improves the life of your drive shaft, and it also can handle more corrosive environments. Let's get started. The first step is going to be removing the track, which you can see we've already done, and you can also reference our other procedure videos on how to remove the track. We then place the machine on the ground to be a safe, stable environment while working on the drive shaft. The next step you're going to want to do is to remove the four bolts attaching your sprocket to the drive shaft using a 15 16 wrench and a 15 16 impact. You remove all four, remove and retain the sprocket. With the sprocket removed, the next step is to remove the two bolts securing the bearing to the frame using the same 15 16 wrench and 15 16 impact. Next, we'll want to remove the five nuts that hold the hub onto the hydro transmission using a three quarter inch ratcheting wrench. Once all five nuts are removed, you can then lift and pull the drive shaft out. Take off any bushings that are left over the studs. And please note, some might have a shim that was placed right there when you removed your bearing. If this was there, please save it. We'll use it during reassembly. With the drive shaft removed, you're gonna wanna make sure you wipe down this area to make sure it's free of dirt, debris. You'll then want to take your new drive shaft and if installed previously, your spacer, this model did not have a spacer, you can then slide your drive shaft on through all the bolts, take the newly provided lug nuts and a little bit of blue Loctite. Use a little bit of blue Loctite on each, on each thread. We'll go ahead and install these. You'll want to torque these to between 50 and 70 foot pounds. Once all the lug nuts are tightened up, you can then take two speed clamps and clamp on each side. That ensures the drive shaft 
is in line with the hydro transmission. The next step is you're going to want to bring the bearing until this surface is flush with the edge of the frame. Now this side is flush and this side is set back a little bit, but we can always adjust that. We'll install the bolt and the nut. And again, using a 15 16 wrench and impact, we'll tighten the one side. And it's sticking out a little bit here and sticking in a little bit there. It doesn't need to be super perfect. But you can always adjust a little bit. Now this bearing is a spherical bearing, so it's allowed for some misalignment. We just want to get it as close as possible. The next step will be to reinstall the sprocket. We'll use 15 16 wrench and 15 16 impact. The next step is then going to be aligning the sprocket. To do so, you'll take a tape measure to the frame and you want the inside of the sprocket to be three inches. Right now it's about two and three quarters. So you can take a rubber mallet and you can tap her out. She may slide freely. We'll tap it out until you hit about three inches. Right about there. Next what you're going to want to do is rotate the sprocket manually until both set screws are at an upward angle so you can reach them. Well, there's one set screw. And there's the other set screw. So now they're both coming up at an angle. Well, next Want to just remove them one at a time and add a drop of blue Loctite. You'll then snug it back in. Snug. You'll add a drop of blue Loctite to the other one. You'll next take a torque wrench and have it set to 10 foot-pounds. Tighten each one up. And 
You'll then adjust your torque wrench to 18 foot-pounds and repeat the sequence. Now that everything's torqued down, you've completed installing the new drive shaft. You can go ahead and install the track for our track installation procedures.